The biggest human temptation is to settle for too little. A quote from Thomas Merton. Hello everyone, my name is Sherilyn Waller, and today my speech is about Thomas Merton. He was a man who loved to encourage other people and remind them that everyone is extraordinary. With this speech, I have had the opportunity to learn more about him. Merton was an American Catholic writer and a social justice advocate. He believed encountering God leads to a desire to encounter others and the world. He was a major influence in our society, especially in the religious community. Mostly through his work as a writer, he continues to inspire others today. Thomas Merton wrote many books. One of the most well-known is The Seven Story Mountain. This book describes his discussion with Roman Catholicism and his choice to join the monastery. He explains how he unknowingly became attached to religion and the churches he frequently visited. Merton also tells about his trips to the Vatican Museums, St. Peter's Church, and the Basilicas in Rome. Over time, Merton expressed the desire to become a priest. He discussed this decision with someone whom he trusted greatly, his teacher, Dan Walsh. Walsh agreed that Merton was suitable for priesthood. In 1941, Merton arrived in the, at the Abbey of Gestamami. He spent three days as a guest there, while waiting for acceptance from the order. And in 1942, in the first Sunday of Lent, Merton was accepted as a novice monk into the monastery. He, his book continues to explain his choices and travels, but that's not all it does. Even to this day, the book continues to speak to people. Many people like this book because they feel like it is something he, they can relate to. For example, he has described the feeling of being lost and trying to find the courage to look for other opportunities in the world, which he did. Many people say that it has helped them, especially with their faith, whether it be just joining a faith or growing stronger in one. Besides, being an influencer through his books, he also influenced people by being an advocate for social justice. In 1960, he received much criticism because of his support for the peace and civil rights movement. He also agreed with the things Martin Luther King Jr. spoke about. He believed that everyone was equal and should be treated as such. He called the U.S. Civil Rights Movement certainly the greatest example of Christian faith in action in the social history of the United States. Thomas Merton is a well-known and liked man. Many people continue to find help through his stories and what he advocated. He used his status to promote good things and that people still see as ins inspiring. He's remembered today by a plaque of where he had an epiphany. The quote on the plaque is an excellent example of his character. The plaque states, I was suddenly overwhelmed with the realization that I loved all of these people, that they were mine and I theirs, that we could not be alien to one another, even though we were total strangers. It was like waking up from a dream of separateness a spurious self-oscillation in a special world, the world of renunciation and supposed holiness, the sense of liberation and from my illusionary difference was such a relief and such a joy to me that I almost laughed out loud. I have the immense joy of being man and a member of a race of which God himself became incarnate, as if the sorrows and stupidities of the human condition could overwhelm me. Now I realize what we all are. And if only everybody could realize this, but it cannot be explained. There is no way of telling people that they are all walking around, shining like the sun. Thomas Merton may not be with us today, but he continues to teach his people through his books and memories of him. Thank you.